These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Kana! Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? A Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. Kanandogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Uh, poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Ah. Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. I'm living where the land makes it easiest. It's not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it.
William Johnson's opening up some of that Mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good haul up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and timber? Don't oh, know. No much care neither. Beats skulking around these woods. Something don't feel right. <laughs> Feeling a bit guilty on account of that woman you put a hole in? Nah, nah. She had a company. What's she dressed like that for anyway? It's not natural. Hey! Where are you, fellas? Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is, on a river, with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried, but now that we're here and settled, I must say I'm rather happy. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it.
Animals, stop! Take what you... What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? You'll certainly come see. Thank you. Get off me, Bates! You just watch me take a beating? You just watch me take a beating? Get off me, Bates! Get off me, Bates! You just watch me take a beating? You just watch me take a beating? A little help! Thank you, my friend. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? North of here. Province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? I am a miner by trade. But it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen. But surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tories sting no matter what we do. Might as well make it count. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Ah, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's in turns, or not at all. We must compromise, Connor, however painful that may be. Try and solve all the world's problems at the same time, and you'll wind up solving none at all. Hey! It's my home, no matter what you thieves called taxmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! 
It's not open for discussion. Now open this door or these men will break it down. Ah! The bullets, we're coming in. Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. For once, I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Hello, Connor. That tea is being illegally smuggled all around Boston by Johnson's men. If you see any crates in transit, perhaps you could put a stop to the delivery. And those moody tax collectors are still at it. They could use a lesson or two, huh? Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate.
Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Pour me le payer, ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine! Oh! Regardez! Some pathetic redcoats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your gaguette, scapule! Coquins me prennent mon père au Canada et voilà qu'il me ravisse ma propriété ici. Il suffit. We are not English. We are not the king's men. We are free. But the king sends his red coat to push us around. They are not our masters. This is our city. Let's show them who owns it. It's time to fight. Stefan, please! Stop and listen to me! I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I... L'anglois croise mon chemin. Il me vole ma maison. Il m'oblige à fuir mon pays. Et les voici qui veulent s'approprier ma nouvelle demeure. There is a way to fight injustice, but this is not it. you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. Oh, bloody hell are you? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Please. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. In English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. Stefan, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted, but after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. 
He marched all across the White North, feeding Louis-Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander-in-chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. He died on the field. But I'm told he fought ferociously. It matters little. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope, that he smiles upon the choices I've made. Connor, do you have time to sit? I do. Good. I have been meaning to ask you, how did you come to Aziz? I did not ask for it, but I feel it was meant to happen. I was just a boy when I met Achilles. He made me a warrior. <laughs> that easy. I miss the kitchen, if you can believe it. I had more control in that world than I ever will in the one we inhabit. But more people get to taste the fruit of my labor in this line of work, and for that, I am satisfied. We may change things yet, if we press on. Frenchmen from the North never grow weary. Just ask the women. <laughs> Don't mean to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice what you've done. Real good of you. What is happening here? Regulars have taken to conscribing the young ones around here. It's not right. I, I was thinking that maybe we could do some good together, if you had the time. What would you have me do? More of the same, actually. I, I got a plan cooking, but the folks need to know they've got someone to turn to. Find me when you're done. Welcome to the regulars! The most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth! Some of you are here by choice, others not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this, rounding up the young ones and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? I can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. That should do. Cover me from up there. of you will be getting on that ship and setting off for a different sort of training. Understand? You've been selected, not for your talents or fighting prowess, but because of the way you think. You will soon find out what all this means, but no! We assassins strive for peace through freedom, and the Templars, they want only to control. Well... I'm for freedom, I know that much. If your order needs a good rifle, sign me up. You do not partake? No, sir. I need to stay sharp in case you call upon my rifle. Spirits do me in right quick. Drank half a flask of rum out in the bush with my brothers a few years back. Went for a run in the buff before I found myself rolling around in deer scat being sick all over. I don't want to go there again, no thank you. Smart choice, given the circumstances. I want to fight like you someday. You have everything it takes to be a great assassin. And that means something coming from you. Where did you learn to shoot like you do? Ranging with my dad and brothers in Virginia country. My family's been surveying and prospecting out there since my grandpappy. How did you end up here? I'm the youngest of four brothers. I was always gonna be a runner-up with them. So I set off alone to do my own business. Out west of Ohio's territory that no man of the colonies ever trodden. Figured I could find contracts out of New York. Then the war started. And you sided with the Patriots? Not really. My family's for the King. I just don't like seeing boys forced to fight against their will is all. But I know that I want to be free. For all to be free. If that means I'm a Patriot, I guess I am. You are an assassin. Nothing else. That I am. I'm proud of it. So you're the lad. 
neighborhood could use more men of action like yourself. My name is Connor. That's a lovely name for a man from Wales. What's your real name? Radohan Kedon. A strong name. You should use it. Mine's Duncan. Plain as they come. If you've the time to spare, I'd urge you to keep on doing what you're doing. This infernal gang needs to be stopped. Ah, Connor! Your work precedes you. Now it's time to finish the job. I'm told this chap just materialized from the ether and nobody has a stones to you know, challenge him. Until now, we'll need a gang, a gang of our own. Fight fire with fire. About time we did something about those brutes. I want in. Good on you. That's one for the lads. Come on, let's gather the rest. Boss clothes, get out! He was a Templar. What? Like the Knights Templar? Jesus. I thought they were a spook story. They are very real. I'll take your word for it, lad. Well, it's been a real pleasure. If ever you need a hand in uh, whatever it is you're up to, I'm your man. Boy, lad. How's it going then? I am well. And you? Oh, I can't complain. There was something I've been meaning to tell you. I met your dad. It was a long time ago, in London. I was just a boy. Well, didn't meet him really. Just saw him do a fella in the London Opera House. I was sitting in the balcony with an uncle of mine. Went out of piss. And when I came back, there's your dad. Dashing as they call me was. Shirt, jacket, immaculate. My uncle was just slumped there. Looked like he was sleeping, but I knew better, even if I was only a child. Da locked eyes on me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so frightened as I was in that instant. It wasn't a fear that he was going to cause me pain. It was this sense that he saw right through me, into my heart, and he would crush it if it had pleased him. But he didn't. He just raised his finger to his lips and gestured for my silence. I complied, and then he was gone. That must have been in the days before his betrayal was made public. He would have sailed for the colonies not long after. I'm astonished that you were actually there. You can imagine my surprise when I saw his face. It took me a while to piece it together, but uh, there you have it. Thought you'd like to know. Thank you. How are you faring? I'm not bad, not bad. All this reminds me of being back in the old country. Fighting for land, fighting for the right to see God my way. Didn't take long before I realized the fight was futile, except to board a ship bound for the colonies. People over there are so wrapped up in how you perceive the Lord, they forget we're all part of his flock. Stories change, Connor. The way people tell them evolves. It's so different in the Bible, and I believe that's the real root of all the strife back home. But nobody wants to listen to me. If you don't see it their way, you're a heathen. But I feel we're honestly making a difference here. That our presence is felt, if not appreciated by all. And it makes me sleep easy at night, and that's all a man can ask for, really. I would like to visit your home country someday. How would you know? You'd turn a head or two in the Emerald Isle, I'll tell you that. Maybe one day I'll muster up the courage, go back, 
I'll bring you with me. <laughs> It'd be good for a laugh at any rate. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the word, Connor, and I will make it so. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command.
Gunner? We saved the last one for you. Best we get out of here. 